This is the energy vibration reading for the Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Welcome. I want to say thank you for being here. All Cancers, please like, share these videos, thumbs up, and likes and shares. Welcome, all newcomers. This is the week, the third week of October, and in this week, we are going to be having. In this week, we are going to be having what is going to be happening in this week. It's a water week with a zodiac energy up here. Not a very nice week, but anyway, let's see what is coming out for you guys the full moon reading is coming up on the 15 and it is nice to go to on demand and check out your um your um, month reading because there's a lot of information that is going to be helping you in this month okay it's not expensive it's just a cup of coffee so go to on demand and check that out the full moon reading is also coming out is just a cup of coffee go on on demand there is so much more information that is here for you guys so let's see what's coming up for the cancers cancer sun moon and rising in this week and there's a message that came out for someone out there and um, this is the eight of cups in reverse so some of you are going to decide to leave a situation whatever the situation is you're going to be deciding to leave a situation okay let's see what's coming out nine of ones you're protected whatever is going on ten of ones you're protected um, whatever is going on then we have the ten of cups someone else have the ten of ones and the ten of cups together which meaning that um, oh this is good and justice uh, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true. Justice is coming. Queen of Swords. Justice against the Queen of Swords. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. News is going to be coming um, about um, happiness and joy. Um, the Queen of uh, Wands and the energy of uh, the Moon. Okay, so you cancers. You cancers have to deal with the queen of wands. So you cancers have decided to leave a relationship behind or a situation behind. So whatever has transpired, something has transpired that makes you decide, I have had it. I'm going to leave a situation of a relationship behind because you have had it is <clears throat> Monday you have the energy of the ten of ones on Monday so there is some burdens that you have already decided you're going to be leaving behind Tuesday you have the ten of cups that is coming in happiness and joy on Tuesday whatever um, you're going to be connecting uh, with someone on Tuesday Wednesday justice come in justice comes in against the queen of swords so this is good Whoever this Queen of Swords is, justice came in against her. Whoever she is and whatever she has done, justice came in against her. Now, a Friday, some news is going to be coming in. And this news is going to be positive news because whatever the situation is, whatever the bird some situation is, it's going to be coming to an end. And you're going to be happy. Um, the Queen of, 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 of Swords is here. So a lot of you Cancers are dealing with um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra woman. And these are all women over the age of 40. You're dealing with um, a lot of women over the age of 40. And listen to your intuition. Sunday, listen to your intuition about this lady. Whoever this lady is, it could be your partner. It could be um, your wife. Um, whoever she is listen to your intuition because your intuition is right on track okay so some of you are going to be releasing a burden you're going to be re re receiving a message that you're going to be releasing a burden and happiness and joy is going to be coming in okay I'm seeing here the energy of the soulmate coming in Monday Tuesday some of you could be connecting with your soulmate now the king of coins is here who is this king of coins because he's watching you guys the king of coins is watching you guys so um, whoever this king of coins is is that it's as if he brings you back with a soulmate and he's watching you guys you're gonna be very very happy with this person whether this person is you're going to be extremely happy with this person as we look we see the ten of cups and justice no regrets about what happened there is absolutely no regrets about what happened 
um, you know you're good with what happened um, it is a divorce I'm seeing a divorce I'm seeing that if you were married to an Aries Lee or such Taurus person this person is going to be divorcing you and you're going to be happy you have no regrets about it you want to connect with your soulmate and that is going to be happening for you you're going to be aligning with your soulmate and that is what you've always want now the um, the seven of ones is here whatever is happening you're standing your ground okay because um, obviously listen to your intuition because um, you are a cancer and this is the energy of the moon which um, helps you and connects you also um, so you are a cancer listen to because the energy of the moon is as if your guides and angels are going to be coming in and letting you know um, if this this um, Aries Leo or such Taurus person is not divorcing you, they are thinking about to divorce you. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see what's the message that is coming out. You're going to be connecting with your twin flame or soulmate. I'm seeing a celebration, the Ten of Cups, and um, your twin flame or soulmate. I think that that was and that is the love of your life. Whatever that has transpired with this person, you feel connected and alive with this person. Whatever the burdens, you're going to be getting out of a relationship because you already decide to leave this relationship. You have already decided to leave this relationship. You're going to definitely leave this relationship. Um, and it is with a, um, a, dark, a dark lady, dark brown eyes or dark hair lady. You decided to leave this relationship. And, you know, it's a decision that you already make. You want to connect with your soulmate. This is a decision that you've already made. Now, the energy of the tower is coming in. So um, the energy of the tower, some of you were connected with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Uh, you're going to be receiving a message from her and this message could be on Sunday in the weekend that she's going to be divorcing you she is gonna be divorcing you see the energy of justice and you, you, you kind of have that feelings you felt it and this is a past life relationship it's as if you've gone in this relationship and it was not good it's as if you you know this relationship this situation is coming from out of a past life it's as if yeah it's as if um whoever you weren't supposed to be married or being involved with this person this is a past life situation that has come back to haunt you and you need to end this situation um I, I, this lady is you know she's talking to her friends and the rest of it and uh, um, you know they're advising her to divorce you for whatever reason it is they're advising you to divorce um, divide, advising her to divorce you I can see her talking to a lot of people it could be a church it could be a tinger they are definitely advising you to divorce to divorce uh, and she's gonna be telling you this message and you're not going to regret it but you're just gonna stand your ground and say hey um, if this is the situation if you want to divorce this and this and this and this and this so you're not having any regrets that you have met your soulmate or your twin flame you're really not having any regrets you're standing your ground because you want to move forward in this relationship and with this relationship this is what I'm seeing here for you but the thing about it is that you need to be honest to whoever is your twin flame and soulmate you need to be honest to this person you need to let this person know exactly what has been happening and what has been transpiring let this person know exactly so they can align themselves to say whether or not yes this is what I want yes this is who I want to be with and if you be very honest to this person you're going to be very happy happiness is going to be yours um, some of you also happiness with the queen of wands but this happiness is going to end um, you thought it was a soulmate because this is you thought it was a soulmate but this happiness is going to be handing so you had some burdensome situation with a marriage or with a relationship before or other burdensome situation and you're going to be meeting or you already meet your king uh, your your um your partner because there it is the king of coins whoever this king of coins is they bring you back together 
whoever this king of coins is he's looking at you guys because he have brought you by guys back together now be careful of what you do because if you um, did um, magic work if you did magic work um, to bring back this person in your life and um, this person um, finds out about it and realize what you have done now there could be other things that is going to be transpiring because obviously you um, the ten of cups you're happy with the screen of ones and but justice is going to come in it's as if you're going to be divorced and your happiness lies by um, your soulmate or your twin flame that is where your happiness lies. there used to be happiness or celebration or joy with this person but it's going to end um, whoever it this person is and it is also coming up for a divorce that is coming up so some of you are going to be divorcing or um, this person is going to let you know that I'm going to divorce you um, some of you who um, have been in a relationship with the Queen of Swords which is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this person is coming up so let's see um, what is going to be transparent because obviously there is a block there is a block okay there is a block with your happiness whatever is happening there is a block with your happiness there are blocks that is coming up with your happiness you need to be um, um, aware of it that your happiness is being blocked and it could be by that king of um, Pentacles there's a new start but this new start is being blocked for you this new start is being blocked for you so be careful you can sirs who and what because there is a sense of justice I'm seeing happiness and joy and justice so you're gonna get a new start and especially if you have kids because I'm seeing that some of you who are in relationship with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius you have um, kids there's a lot of um, communication that is going to be happening here there is really really a lot of communications that is going to be happening here a lot of communication um, is going to be happening here because you see the energy of the tower coming down so it's as if you're going to be deciding how the kid and and that sort of a thing what is going to be happening and how the kid but there is a resolution that is going to be coming out but you have re already decide for yourself hey I'm leaving this relationship I am not going to deal with this relationship anymore it's as if you have decided and whether it's a relationship in whatever way it is um, is it um, but this is two people decide to uh, you know to leave each other and it involves kids because the kids are the one because here um, the legal system here whatever is happening there are kids that is going to be affected in this thing and you're not you know you're really not worried about this uh, you, you're not worried about the divorce you're thinking okay all right if you want a divorce then fine you know whatever it is but the kid is the is the thing that you are you know you want to be close to your kid and that sort of a thing then we have the energy of you make you need to make a decision and obviously the eight of um, cups comes up you need to make a decision and it says release yourself from that which um, holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worries based on lack of self-confidence unnecessary worries based on lack of self-confidence okay so wow you guys um, yeah um, whatever the situation is um, it's gonna be good it's as if your happiness is blocked I don't know who the King of Pentacles is, but be aware the King of Pentacles is coming from a past life. Whatever is happening is um, coming from a past life. The Wheel of Fortune is also saying that this person is coming from a past life. Whoever this person is, he is playing the dice. It's as if he he is playing everyone against each other. Okay, and this is a past life situation. Is someone. Who you have known from the past there's a solution that is going to be coming in so not to worry I want to say namaste until next time please remember to um, watch your Sun moon and rising sign and you should watch the water energy vibration for the moon so the moon <clears throat> reading that is coming out on the 15 the water energies is the one that you need to um, watch I want to say namaste until next time <laughs>